Welcome to the GOSS Interactive SharePoint Connector demonstration. In this demonstration, you'll see how easy it is for administrators to set up publish and unpublish workflows in SharePoint that allow content to be published to a website that uses GOSS ICM. First, let's take a look at the website we're going to publish to. Here's the SharePoint Connected Demo section where we've created a page that will contain meeting minutes published from SharePoint. As you can see, there are currently no items on the page. Let's set up our SharePoint document library to publish to GOSS ICM. I'll open up the document library settings. We're going to add a workflow for publishing to GOSS ICM. I'll ask SharePoint to start the workflow when an item is added or updated. Now we'll go to the workflow configuration screen. I'll enter the server location, credentials, and the ID of the media group we're going to publish to. Next, I need to specify the SharePoint columns which will be used to provide a title, keywords, and description to GOSS ICM. Here I've just specified that these will all use the name field which is automatically populated by SharePoint. We're ready to submit the form and the new workflow has been created and is ready for use. Next, we're going to add a workflow for unpublishing from ICM. I'm going to leave all the standard workflow starting options blank this time. Now we'll configure the workflow. I'll specify that I want media items to be automatically deleted from GOSS ICM when they are deleted from SharePoint. That's it. The workflows are set up and will be triggered automatically by SharePoint when content is added, deleted, or changed. Now we'll use the bulk publishing feature to add the existing contents of the document library to GOSS ICM, which of course will also update the website. I'll select all the items and click the Publish to GOSS ICM button. You can see that all the items have now been published to GOSS ICM and have been assigned media IDs. If we go back and look at the website, we can see that it has also been updated. Lastly, we'll go back to the Publish workflow and change the configuration so that Manual Publishing and the Bulk Publishing screen are no longer available. Again, all I need to do is go into the document library settings, then the workflow settings. I'll click on the name of the workflow to configure it. Here I'll uncheck the box that allows the workflow to be started manually. On the configuration screen, I'll uncheck the box that enables the menu item for bulk publishing. Users can now add content to SharePoint in the usual way and publishing to ICM will be taken care of by the connector. Thank you for your time. Please see www.gossinteractive.com for more information.